Barr hits it high and deep to right. Piscotty back on the track at the wall. It's over his glove, off the wall. April 25th, Jays versus Cardinals. Chris Coughlin rounds third. He sees Molina and Superman dives right over him like it was nothing. Absolutely nothing. What a play by Coughlin. He jumped over Molina and landed squarely on home plate. That is how you do it. You, you, you see an obstacle, adapt, and go where nothing is in your way. That's why there's, there is no need for this debate on increasing minimum wage. If you want a higher salary, just go to an industry that needs you. Opportunity is everywhere, but hardly anyone is pursuing it. And I think so many people just see the athletes in the stadium when the biggest opportunity is creating the stadium itself. I mean everything, and I mean everything people want in the minimum wage debate is provided by the trades. High wages, security, paid education, everything. That, that is why this debate is as useless as a woodpecker with rubber lips. I mean, so few people see this opportunity despite the fact it is right in front of our face every single day. And I mean literally in front of us. Like, Chris and I were in El Segundo once to, to see Richard, and we, we were trying to decide on a restaurant. We saw this building with a wicked rusted exterior, and those rusted panels literally made our decision on where we were gonna eat that night. And the funny thing was, is when Richard showed up, it turned out that his crew did the paneling. And then, when I was a kid, for example, my dad fixed our garage floor, and I, uh, I put my handprints in the concrete, just like those uh, celebrity, celebrity handprints on Hollywood Boulevard. And I'm telling you, to this day, I can remember the feeling of the concrete on my hands. I can still remember the smell. It's 40 years later, and my handprint is still there. These are small moments, but I mean, they're fun memories. So, so just imagine what it feels like for our customers when they see their creations. They literally create the space where we live our lives. I mean, it's amazing, amazing. People in this debate can be a part of these creations on top of getting everything that they want. They have the opportunity to create the space for our families, where uh, create the space where we build companies that provide for our families, the space where we entertain, where we practice, where we compete, where we teach, where we protect, where we serve, pray, connect, where we debate, elect, govern. I mean, think how amazing, amazing that feels to be a part of that. The, the skilled trades are the most underrated, underpromoted industry on the planet. You want a good wage? Done. It's yours right out of the gate. You, you need training? Done. You get paid to learn. Seriously, you can go in knowing nothing and get paid for your education. I mean, I feel terrible for everyone getting conned by colleges these days. Going into debt to get a degree that everyone else has just to compete for non-existent jobs? Come on, man. God. The degrees you get from a damn toaster oven do more for you than the degrees you get from a college. You know, you want advancement? Man, an entire generation of leaders are retiring as we speak. And to top it off, technology and the trades are colliding right now. The generation, this generation are tech gurus compared to the generation that is retiring. If you have any technological aptitude whatsoever, any technological acumen, you can advance faster than your baby, babysitter's boyfriend leaves the house when you pull up on the driveway. And that's not even the best part. Purpose. Purpose is the best part. Being a part of creation. Uh, let, let's take a small example. If, you, if you're going to work every day and your job is making zippers for some jean company, that's got some purpose to it. You're helping people keep their pants on. And I don't know about you, but I'm all for people wearing pants, especially in restaurants. <laughs> so if that's got purpose, how about enabling people to live their lives in the best way that they can? That is amazing. How about being in an industry 
that was born the day society began and whose creations will exist long after we're gone. How about an industry where everything you do is creating something that will impact people's lives on a daily basis? An industry where the work is done here, right here with your own hands, not outsourced overseas or, or God forbid, built in China. An industry that is leading a tectonic shift in infrastructure and development that is helping the planet be sustainable. An industry that is starving for help, that is starving for technology. It is literally dying to give people everything they need. I mean, I gotta tell you, it boggles my mind that people are not jumping on this. Great money, great opportunity, knowledge, security, purpose, real lasting purpose. Any trade, any trade, they, they, they all need help. They, they are all different, but the opportunities are the same. So let's look at the trade. So uh, just pick a trade, a painting. You think painting is just painting? Nope, think again. Paint has way more impact on your lives than you may know. J j consider the Golden Gate Bridge. Everyone in the world, everyone knows that bridge, even if they've never been to San Francisco. Why? And tell me why. Because it's red. That, that deep blood red is unmistakable. I mean, I, I bet everyone in this room has seen a movie with that bridge in. It's, you know, Hollywood knows how much the, the world connects with that bridge. Every, uh, look how many times that Hollywood has destroyed that bridge in movies. It, it's hilarious. It's been destroyed by an earthquake in Superman. Uh, the, the, the Hulk got it all shot to shit by the Navy. It was melted by some cosmic storm. I think that was core. Magneto pulled it apart. A giant shark ate it. I, I even think uh, cartoons destroyed it once. I mean, paint has made that bridge a world icon. Like, man, paint and coverings alone have a profound impact on our lives, our daily lives. It can change the way you feel at home, the way you, the way you feel at work, any place you go. You think a wall is just a wall? Think again, bucko. Walls start out as a flat, blank sheet. And talent comes along and takes these sheets, molds it, twists it, cuts it, curves it, shapes it, just forms it into art. I mean, even a basic, just a basic wall can create your most precious private space. And then the most elaborate walls can end up being a focal point or, or the most memorable area of an entire structure. You know, you think concrete is just concrete? Wrong again. Imagine having to create a mix with, with a PSI that ensures thousands of people can live in a skyscraper safely, even in an earthquake. You know, and how'd you get to work today? Did you run through the fields? Of course not. You drove in a car on infrastructure, infrastructure that can determine how successful a city is, how, how well it can function in the global supply chain. You like your ice in your drinks? You, uh, you liked, I'm sure you liked watching Game of Thrones this season. Well, go kiss an electrician. None of that's possible without them. You, you think ceilings are just ceilings? Keep thinking, Sherlock. Ceilings can be majestic, beautiful. They can outshine art that you would see in the Smithsonian. And imagine having to create that while making it strong enough to handle high wind loads or ensuring perfect acoustical integrity at a theater. I mean, it's brilliant. It's architecture, engineering, construction, boom, all united. I mean, if, if I was looking for a career, I would not be going into debt chasing dreams and I certainly wouldn't be wasting time fighting for higher wages in a saturated industry. I'd be seizing the opportunity that is right in front of my face. I'd be going where nothing, absolutely nothing, is in my way.